What's up guys, it's your boy Book here. Like, comment, and subscribe to join the Nader Squad. Enjoy. Alright, how's it going everyone? Cold War Zombies is out and I just wanted to make a short tutorial, walkthrough, and solo strategy as soon as possible to help you guys get through it. So as of now, we're just meleeing zombies that die in one hit, no need to use ammo and waste our money. Round two, they start taking two punches. They're not threatening, you move very slow. And you'll get through it just by meleeing. This so way you'll save up your money, you can buy the stuff you want as soon as possible. But after these first few levels, the general strategy is to make a train of zombies, let them chase you around, turn around, and mow them down. In this walkthrough, I went and bought a 1911 right here. At least pistols don't slow you down. Does pretty decent damage, and uh, I liked it. Didn't have to buy ammo as often. But I still went with the uh, the punching method for now. It's round three. And this, uh, this walkthrough will tell you guys how to turn on the power and get your pack a punch. Shows where all of the perk stations are located and where you need to go through the map. I like how the zombie was just doing the T-pose. But yeah guys, basically you just keep doing this until you have enough money to keep going through all the doors in the map. At this point if you do get the 1911, it's a two headshot gun, or a body and a headshot as you see here. Pretty, uh, pretty cost effective for your ammo, MP5. Works pretty well, but you're gonna drain through your ammo. That's one of the only unfortunate things about it. I played one other zombies game before this, and I upgraded my MP5 to, I think it was tier two for pack a punch, and it was doing a thousand per headshot. So, yeah, it could put out some pretty good damage. Right now, we're going to plant the explosives to get past the barriers. Plant another one here. This is where stamina up, drink to run faster is. I have plenty of money, so I'm gonna get as many perks as I can. This gun is good, ooh, 691. All right, so this gun's pretty good, the SA-12. I used it for the remainder of the game. You go through here to open it up. I fought off a couple more zombies, it's level 12 now. I just wanted enough money to be able to go through and not really have to worry about it. But as uh, as everybody would suggest, make sure you leave one alive zombie when you're doing this. I didn't for one or two of these, and uh, it was definitely a lot harder. I believe I left one alone right now, and then I shot him kind of halfway through the mission. So, not the uh, most smart thing to do, but yeah, you want to unlock this other door here kind of play around with the zombie turn on the power eventually this is where you upgrade your armor the lights turn on as soon as you hit this button but there's one more door to go through right here slap that big red easy button now you have to hit both of the terminals once you do this the ether or the interdimensional portal whatever you want to call it turns on and that's where you're going to want to go through to get the pack a punch available. Right here I buy some am our armor quickly. Solid two plates. Hit them with the little dodge real quick and move on. <laughs> this is where you enter the dark ether anomaly. Give them a little knee shot. And now we want to make our way outside. Since the power's on, we can activate that. I like all the perks except for the dead shot. It might be useful, but I was using a pistol 
and a uh, shotgun for most of it. So I didn't really need like that faster aim down sight speed. Make sure you crack these because you get uh, special things. Like right there, there's a self revive. Those are less common. But uh, yeah, these are easy, uh, easy stuff. So that's what I was talking about. I killed the zombie when I shouldn't have, but that's all right. This is where you need to go, where right where that uh, thing, that waypoint on your map was. You'll teleport to down into the secret room, the grab the part, and now you want to go put it in the machine. The nice thing is, it does pop up with that little UI thing just to let you know where to go. So right on down here, you slide on down, activate the pack-a-punch. So the new round starting, this is where you should have left the zombie alive. But you go back to the the regular dimension. But if you grab the shotgun, all these dogs are one shot right now. Makes it a lot easier on you. What happened? Where did they go? Information suggests they Costs five thousand for your first pack of punch. So you need at least 5,000 to really uh, make it worth it. I had 10,000 here. I bought the first level up for my shotgun. I thought about these ammo mods, which I did get later, as you'll see later on in the video. But I also upgraded my 1911, went from 8 bullets to 30. It also went from 300 per headshot to, as you'll see, I want to say 650. Six thirty does a lot more. Now that the shotgun's leveled up, does a lot more as well. But I hit the nuke right there. Go right back to the spawn area and start uh, start bowing them down with your enhanced guns. More damage per shot with each bullet. Let them group up and train as you run around. I usually aim for the head. Maybe center mass if it's a shotgun. Your X, your energy mine, is super good. As you saw, I just got like 10 kills with it. So these boss guys, do not get close to them because they will hit you for 150 plus. If this guy hit me right here and I didn't sprint away, I died. So, especially the red bosses, when you go into the other dimension, they will really one-shot you. So now I'm making my way down. I already got that perk, but as you can see, I, <clears throat> a lot of rounds went by. It's now round 24, and I wanted enough to buy both the levels for my shotgun there. So it's 15,000 for the second level, 30,000 for the last. I had a solid 50k or so. But some more armor, so now I have three armor plates. Grabbed another perk. Wanted to see how much uh, damage this does here. And we're going on out. Solid thousands per every shot now. Into the two thousands per headshots. At this level it almost one shots everybody when they're close enough. So this is definitely a very viable gun. Now a few rounds went by. Slide down the right exact same way. Go back to the pack-a-punch. As you can see I had 22. Bought the second level for my pistol, which was 15. Now we check the damage real quick. 1260, so that's a solid double. It was 630 before. So here's what it looks like, just kind of running around through the game. Letting them train. Got a solid, like, 10 there. Those energy mines, or plasma mines, whatever they're called, are super good. I have not really created a class or anything because I'm still a very low level and this was only my second game on. But as you can see the shotgun absolutely shreds when it's fully maxed out. But as I'm sure some of you noticed my gun is not legendary. I did not realize you can uh, level them up. So I went on through here. As you can see I have 36,000 money now. Buy up the pack a bunch here. 
Now it's 2,500, so not quite double again, but a significant upgrade. At this point, when your guns are level 3 pack-a-punch, they all cost 5,000 to refill your ammo. So, running a gun like the MP5 may kill them quicker, but you're going to have to spend more money on ammo. So right there, you can repair your shields, but this is what I'm talking about. Right here, go to the, the weapon part, and you can upgrade your gun tier five up to tier 5 damage. And now it's doing... A significant out, amount more. 6,720 per shot. It was, uh, what, 2,000 something last time, so that's a solid two to three times. More, I pick up the ammo mod here. These are pretty nice, they work pretty well. There's a few different ones. Shock, one's brain rot turns them against each other, one stuns. Something else, like a, a toxic thing where it drains their health. And now I upgrade my shotgun slightly. Let them chase me around here. And uh, 4,561 for that last headshot. So I'm sure that's when all the pellets hit. But as you can see, it absolutely mows them. And I can still level it up one more time to gold. But yeah, go back to the starting area as usual. So this is important, I didn't realize you can buy stem shots, I, I highly suggest using those. Also the tomahawks are nice because they don't they don't disappear. Self revives great, I would always suggest that, but as you can see, unlocked at uh, 54 and I am nowhere near that, so that would make uh, your solo games a lot easier if you had self if you could buy your self revive every time once you go down so people who grind their rank that's something you can really look forward to repair my armor and upgrade to the gold you can also re-roll your attachments which I, which I did there and so that's why I now have a, a bigger mag a silencer a bigger mag and a silencer on my shotgun here but this bad boy is mowing them down like it's nothing. A couple 6,000 headshots in there. I picked up that war machine earlier from the, the crate. It does a lot of splash damage. I thought it would do more damage to the boss, but I would suggest using it to uh, mow the train down a lot more. That was a solid like 10 war machine kills with one bullet. So I started running around here. This is actually the round I died at too. Um, I made a mistake. I focused too much on firing and not my movement. Tomahawks do great damage, but I got too distracted in throwing them and got stuck in a corner, as you guys will see. Right here. 35,000 for Tomahawk, though. And I got stuck right here and died. Died at level 39 there. So I would highly suggest focusing on your movement and not getting stuck anywhere. Good luck in your games, guys, and I'm out. Take care. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, check out one of these two. I promise you will not be disappointed. Click one right now.